this just was totally unexpected. But maybe it shouldn't have been. Gloria Cranmer Webster has had a distinguished career. Preserving the language and culture of the Nongi people in Alert Bay, British Columbia, and repatriating cultural items taken away to museums. It was totally unexpected. And it's been nice to have people say you deserve it. Despite her age, Webster isn't ready to call it quits. She's working on a language book with her niece. So people ask, so what are you doing in your retirement? And I said, I'm not retired. But at least one of her children isn't all that impressed by her order of Canada. When I told my son about this award, he said, does that mean I have to salute you? <laughs> yeah. Did he, uh, has he saluted you yet? <laughs> Not yet. I'm still waiting. I think I have to wave this at him. Chief Clarence Louis of the Asoyuz First Nation in B.C., and Chief Terence Paul from Member 2 Nova Scotia were both recognized for economic development in their respective communities. We're not dependent on the government at all, and that uh, our own sources will help uh, us move forward ourselves and depend on ourselves. How many First Nations are getting back on their economic horse and becoming part, part of the economy, as we always should have been? No wonder then that Chiefs Louis and Paul were happy to be getting the order at the same time. That was awesome to be here with Chief Paul. Uh, member two is well known, just like Osuyus Indian Band is. Book into the country, really, yeah. We've talked back and forth and uh, we still communicate and, uh, and of course bounce ideas off each other and, you know, it helps. Chief Louis in particular has been criticized for being too pro-development. There's always going to be those that, that will criticize you and as an elder once told me, we're supposed to have skin seven layers thick to take all the arrows that we're going to get from our own people. But it was Gloria Cranmer Webster who put the pomp and ceremony into perspective with her opinion about Ottawa and its weather. I feel sorry for the people who have to live here. <laughs> I'm one of them. I'm from BC too, but I've got to live here. <laughs> what did you do that was so bad? Todd Lamarant, APTN National News, Ottawa.